guys, it's episode 13 and welcome to Tactical Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if it, this qualifies for tactical, but, but uh, I do um, calculate uh, what I bring if I'm uh, traveling and uh, this is what I usually do and it's all laid out here. If, you can, if I'm going to show you this one. So these are the things that I have to, uh, to set up, I have to carry. So all this is good for, uh, let's say, uh, I think it's good for maybe uh, six days, seven days, so that's uh, basically what I have right now. It's, um, these are my gear, not just that, my bag is here, this is my main bag, it's a hiking pack, small one, it's uh, I think 14 liters if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 38 liters, it's only small. And uh, this is my main uh, my other bag. It carries all that um, electronics. Everything that's electronics is here, of course. Uh, this is my uh, go-to carry bag and uh, EDC everyday carry. This is this is the shit that I always bring, and uh, I rely on this. So it's all. Uh, this one is for electronics and. Uh, if um, by, by the way, I'm uh, traveling uh, to Taiwan, and that means that I have to bring some of my uh, camera gear and some, the, including my uh, drone, and uh, that's where this comes in. So these are my bags. But when it comes to, uh, shall we say, uh, you know, stuff that we have to carry around, like uh, passports and uh, all those kinds of uh, things, then this is it. I always put this uh, along with uh, this one. Why this one? It looks like a tactical uh, uh, chest rig. It is actually, but I usually reformat it for traveling. Um, it's easy to remove and uh, it stores things. Um, this one is uh, it's, uh, for easy attachment for my one of my phones. This one for the other phone and I don't leave without a flashlight and it's where it comes from and this is why it's here and um, this one it's not actually a tactical medic bag it contains my passport and all that uh, things so it's right here passports are here so I always bring this and this is uh, in place of a small uh, bag I like to carry stuff around that's uh, easy to uh, uh, bring out. Um, uh, it's, uh, I don't like uh, the hassle of a small bag. It's um, there's a lot of pockets and uh, it's not spread out. I like this because it's uh, spread out. So for six days, I have this um, for my uh, shirts, and um, when I'm going to other countries and I know that it's uh, gonna be humid or hot. Uh, it's gonna be these uh, types of shirts and it's gonna be dry fit shirts. Uh, I prefer dry fit shirts because it's easy to uh, dry up, uh, it's easy to um, you know to rinse, then you can wear it uh, again on the next day. Um, although I don't do that, but uh, that's uh, the basic idea for these uh, shirts. And it can fit into uh, just this one small uh, carry bag, or this uh, travel pouch. So uh, it fits uh, right here. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shirts, uh, all for six days of uh, you know nonstop travel in uh, um, Taiwan, and that's uh, basically what I have right now for shirts. Now for uh, let's say. Um, some of the things you need to bring, like uh, shorts and stuff. I don't, if I'm traveling and it's, uh, it's uh, for pleasure, I'm not doing any work. Um, it's just uh, me traveling or uh, with the family, and this time I'm going with my family. 
um, I usually bring just shorts, I don't bring pants. Why? Because it's uh, inconvenient, it's gonna be bulky, and it's, it's gonna take up some space. So I prefer shorts, and um, uh, some of the things that I have are these. These are packable shorts, they're really easy to hold, they're easy to roll, and uh, it's uh, they can be uh, easily rolled up uh, as a thing of shorts. And then I have this one, these are board shorts. I can do that. I can use this for swimming, or I can just travel with this. So it's uh, pretty much easy. And of course, I have a um, microfiber towel. It's a small one, but it, it works. I don't need to bring a big one, and this is uh, what I usually bring. And that's uh, part of it. Now, what else I have? I have this one. These are well. They're not really as comfortable as I'd like, but uh, uh, they uh, will work if you're not into, uh, you know, uh, cleaning up your um, your underwear. You, you're, you don't have time to clean up your underwear or, um, you know, bring extra underwear. Um, although I did bring a lot of them, but uh, um, if you're in an airport and you're transitioning to another airport and you don't have, uh, you know, any, uh, any things to uh, you don't have any option to do laundry, then this is your solution. It's a um, uh, disposable underwear, and you can buy this uh, at any, I think, in any in some of the stores, uh, convenience stores that you can find. Um, I saw one when I was in Thailand uh, in a 7 Eleven. Um, this one is from Watson's here in the Philippines. Um, I think I saw one also in Assam. So uh, you can buy the, uh, this somewhere. But um, I'm not sure where to buy this here in Kalibo. It's uh, I only got this in Watsons. Now, aside from that, I do I do bring a lot of socks. These are new ones. I, I don't bring uh, new ones, but um, um, you know, for comfort, I did bring uh, uh, new socks for uh, for travel. Um, again, socks and socks. Socks that you use on your feet, not the uh, S U C K S. <laughs> and uh, of course, underwear. So pack them all up here, and they're good to go. And uh, I can uh, easily uh, get them uh, um, situated in my bag, in my pack here. Of course, final trips. I don't bring uh, small ones. You know, the the one that you can put your shampoo in, it, or maybe. Um, Put uh, uh, conditioners or some some shit like that, or even lotion. I don't need lotion by the way. But uh, um, to you know to see that uh, it's pretty much easy to go uh, anywhere if you're uh, if you've been traveling um, for a while now and uh, if you've been doing that uh, kind of shit. So you can find uh, uh, all those uh, you know the shampoo, the lotions, or even soaps. Um, on some convenience stores uh, anywhere, just you just have to find them, and um, um, it's uh, pretty much easy. So you you do, don't need to carry a lot, just uh, you know carry the essential things, um, perfume, small one, of course, and then um, are allowed only three ounces if I'm not mistaken for an airline, and then uh, a small deodorant, and of course toothpaste and uh, toothbrush, travel toothpaste and toothbrush. I normally use electric uh, toothbrush but battery operated toothbrush by the way but um, uh, one traveling is going to be a hassle if you bring those things so this is the one that I bring this one here and of course razor a uh, well a small clipper with a razor in it. and um, yeah just to you know make this uh, a little bit presentable so these are the things that I also bring now, I work in disaster management and uh, I work in, uh, um, in some types of emergencies and I always think of uh, bringing uh, you know, stuff uh, like uh, uh, first aid stuff. So I do bring first aid stuff. And uh, by the way, uh, this is uh, from a good friend of mine. She's also an EMT and uh, the same thing a nurse. She's now um, in uh, the um, 
I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, it could be Canada or US. I'm not sure which one. But uh, yeah, this is from Miss uh, Rogel Camina, and uh, thank you by the way. So this one, I always bring this one. It's uh, got loads of stuff in here. Um, I have a uh, yeah, I've got I've got this uh, you know small uh, uh, gauze bandage. And I've got tapes, small one also. Also, I've got, I've got uh, antiseptic uh, wipes and stuff. Um, yeah, I added some uh, um, two, two by two bandages um, in here. Also, uh, I placed uh, band aids, small ones, and uh, an antibiotic uh, ointment. Hopefully, this is not um, expired already. I'm, uh, hopefully, I'm right. I uh, usually check my stuff, but I guess this is okay. Um, yeah. The, all those things and uh, just for safe measure this is not for for, for you know what you think this is um, as a, a responder uh, emergency medical technician we also use condoms not for uh, you know, personal reasons but this is um, just to add uh, more safety like uh, we use this uh, to uh, waterproof things uh, to uh, you know make few of them as a buoys or um, you know, um, uh, flotation uh, devices uh, in terms of emergencies. Uh, these are important. So um, think what you must, but these are uh, what we use. Uh, to, uh, that's why it's here, by the way. Oh, sorry about that. So these are my first aid uh, kit that I bring, and it's a small uh, plastic box. Courtesy of me, so Rogelo Camino. So some, some other things that you have to remember when we're talking about traveling and if you're traveling abroad. If you're traveling local, then uh, there's uh, there's only a few things that you have to remember. But if you're traveling abroad, then you have to remember a lot of stuff. Um, such as a um, uh, case of uh, what you're going to bring. Um, for instance, your documents. Um, most of your documents has to be uh, ready. They have to be uh, you know easy to pull out. And uh, on uh, my side, what I usually do is uh, bring uh, my, my, I put it in my bag, and let me show you. It's kind of heavy. Not that heavy, but uh, it's always ready right here. Uh, especially if you're working in government, uh, there's a lot of uh, things that you have to bring, um, document-wise. And these are the things that I usually bring if I'm traveling, uh, whether official or unofficial. So uh, this is an unofficial uh, trip. It's personal, so I usually bring my stuff and um, I have my ticket. Um, sorry to travel, which is important. And of course, uh, these are the documents that I, I bring. And I also bring passports. Now, if you're traveling for the first time, um, well, you have to remember that uh, uh, if you're traveling as a tourist, then you have to show um, that you're not uh, that you're coming back, that you're not staying there. Um, Filipinos are often uh, misconstrued to be, you know, they get uh, deported back and they get uh, stopped at the airport because people think if you're um, coming into their country that you may be staying there and uh, doing that legally. So. Uh, um, you have to have your itinerary, and uh, it's yeah. I have my itinerary here, and it's right here. It's the, this one. It says Taipei Family Trip, and uh, these are the, this is the ones that I'm going to show. Also, that you have to show where you're staying, um, the address of your hotel. It's important that you have to put the address of your hotel. Now, if you were with the government and you have done uh, things, you know, traveled uh, things. Um, officially and you haven't that done that unofficially or uh, you know you haven't done traveling um, um, for the purpose of uh, tourism then uh, um, I think you have to bring your official government passbook passport sorry pa not passport <laughs> passport uh, but um, just so that you can show them that you have been uh, traveling before um, because if they if you can't show them 
that you have been uh, traveling before, then uh, sometimes uh, you get uh, asked a lot of questions. So, yeah, you know, these are this is uh, my personal uh, uh, passport, and uh, it's a good thing that it has a lot of uh, you know, uh, it's been marked a lot. Then it's uh, you will have less problem. But if it expires and mine's expiring maybe next year, um, uh, yeah. Um, also, be sure that you still have about uh, six months uh, uh, of uh, leeway on your passport, uh, so that you won't get stopped at the airport by their own immigration uh, counter. Now, this one will expire maybe uh, one year and a half, so I still have uh, I'm still good for this. But I'm I'm gonna have to have this um, uh, uh, renewed um, when I get back, and. Um, by doing that, I'm um, also uh, when I travel again, I'm going to bring the old one. Not this, not this one, but this one here. I'm going to, to uh, bring this, the old one, just to show that I've been traveling before, and um, so that I won't get stopped when uh, uh, you know uh, when I'm uh, facing the immigration counter of other countries. Now, another thing, they don't like covers for your passports. Uh, once you get to their uh, immigration counter, pull out your passport. Pull them out. Don't give this to your uh, to the immigration counter. They don't like it, and uh, it's a hassle for them because it takes time to pull it out, and they're expecting you to do that yourself. Uh, that's why they don't like passports. They prefer passports to be, you know, just this one without covers. But if uh, you want to protect your passport, then do so. But Remember, once you're facing the immigration counter, you have to pull them out and show them to the immigration officer. Like so. So, that's basically what I have for documents. Now, important things. Power bank. You have to have your power, power bank. This is a Xiaomi uh, power bank. And uh, it served well for me, so it's here. And uh, I have to tell my dog to shut up. It's, uh, she's... Uh, uh, she's, uh, you know, <laughs> but yeah, you have to have your uh, power back. Um, also, I always bring um, power cord uh, bracelet. Uh, this one is simple. It doesn't have any knives or anything that's sharp in it because you'll get stopped by uh, when you're um, uh, at a sec security checkpoint or even at a um, um, X-ray counter. So this one will pass through because it doesn't have any uh, security issues it's just a power cord but it does have a little bit of uh, added feature to it it has a small whistle now that's for survival but this is uh, actually uh, a uh, handy type of tool so uh, i always bring this one when traveling and of course uh, other stuff that uh, you have to think of is if it's raining then you have to have your um, your cap with you. Yeah, um, I think it's raining now in uh, Taipei, Taiwan. So uh, I have to have uh, uh, some sort of uh, um, protection. I did bring a, 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 um, a rain jacket. It's a, a thin one that you can just pack up and uh, you know put it in your bag. And it's in here. It's uh, already packed it up. It's all good and. Uh, uh, that's what I, uh, I you know, I, I had uh, uh, prepared. Okay, there's another thing that you have to remember, and I forgot all about this. Well, it's right here, but uh, you know, I forgot to show it to you. But uh, let me show you stuff. It's um, oops, right there. So we see this stuff. Um, never mind that one. That's uh, for me. That's uh, unfastened. Um, of course, a uh, cord for the power bank, and then of course my, my headphone jack. But uh, this one here, this one right here, you needed to have a ball pen with you. Um, mainly because uh, ball pens, uh, you need them uh, once you're. Um, uh, coming close to the country of, uh, of your, you know, travel, um, 
you needed the, the ball pen to write uh, into their Im immigration card and uh, that's the immigration card is uh, pretty much important uh, it ha you have to give that to the immigration officer also take note of uh, you know some things that you can bring yeah, the, these ready to go bags uh, you know these are um, you know cloth bags that you can also carry um, just in case that you need to put some things uh, like for laundry and stuff these are good to go um, uh, uh, they're also um, easy to carry and they're packable and uh, this one uh, water bottle, water uh, container small one but uh, it will serve don't put water in it yet once you're entering the airport because it's you're not allowed to carry a lot of uh, liquid but once you're inside the airport um, they won't uh, think that you brought in some sort of um, uh, you know uh, some liquid like um, they're wary about uh, explosives and stuff so uh, without liquid once you get in into the airport you can uh, get uh, some liquid get some water or maybe some juices if you want to put it in here and uh, you're good to go but you have to be inside after the after you've been checked in and uh, once you're inside the terminal area uh, uh, at the waiting area then that's where you can refill it and uh, put water in it and uh, or when you arrive at the, your destination country and like uh, for instance Taiwan then you can refill it with water so these are uh, easy to bring um, um, well I'll do a review for this uh, maybe sometime uh, on um, Tactical Sunday, but um, this is a Camelback um, uh, water bottle, and it's uh, I've tested it before. Um, it retained uh, if it's uh, if your liquid is warm or hot, it will retain uh, that uh, temperature for a long time. And if it's cold, then it's gonna do the same. It's not just it's not as uh, as long as uh, the hot liquid, but you know. Um, it will remain uh, cold as, um, as you need it and uh, it's ideal actually okay so uh, my bags are packed and uh, yeah I'm all set uh, but um, well uh, maybe I'll do a uh, you know a uh, some uh, different uh, type of um, uh, tips on how to pack your electronics and stuff um, I didn't bring and I'm not bringing any uh, um, laptop it's, mm, it's gonna be a hassle if I bring them uh, I'm just bringing the, uh, my ca my cell phone uh, my um, uh, Nikon D5300 camera actually it's not mine it's my wife's <laughs> and um, I'm bringing my um, my Monza Mini S uh, uh, gimbal um, but I, I'm also bringing my Spark uh, DJI Spark drone, so uh, that's that's a lot of electronics to bring. And um, of course, if you're um, traveling to countries uh, that uh, to other countries, you have to check for um, their regulations, and you can find them on uh, on blogs uh, of other people. And um, um, try to see if um, they allow uh, drones in their area. And uh, basically, for Taiwan, they do allow them. Um, you just have to be uh, to make sure that uh, the area that you're uh, using it from is uh, is not restricted and um, yeah, well you can download some app for that um, anyways uh, this is for episode uh, 13 and uh, I hope you like my blog uh, now it's um, I haven't done tactical Sunday um, the other week but uh, this one is uh, for travel measures so gonna um, this is uh, for uh, for travel tips and stuff uh, subscribe and like my channel um, this is uh, Terence Soriano uh, signing off